Welcome to your weekly UAS news update. We have four stories for you this week. The NTSB prelim is out for the uh, drone show accident in Orlando. We have a regulatory freeze, that's an important thing, a possible DJI release list for 2025, and then lastly, a new drone uh, bill in Connecticut. All right, let's get to it. And first up, the NTSB released the preliminary report on the drone show accident that happened in Orlando. Now, if you're not familiar with the story, uh, this is an accident that happened uh, during the drone show on December 21st, and a drone struck and seriously injured a child that was watching the show. Uh, according to the NTSB, the operator of the show made several errors, including rotating the show position by about seven degrees, and then also misaligning the center, and then not fully uploading the final flag path to the aircraft. The misalignment of the show caused a, the, the hard fence, the one that disarmed the drone if it leaves the uh, intended area, to be too close to the crowd. Now, in addition, the hard fence outside of the primary fence was said to be five meters rather than to be uh, set to one meter, which is the company standard. Uh, approximately 43 aircraft were recovered and then sent to the NTSB lab in, the, uh, in Washington, D.C. Now, at this point, it's still unclear what actually caused multiple drones to fly away from the show and and then towards the bystanders. If you'd like to read the full report, we'll leave it down in the comments. Uh, the NTSB will have a final report, but that's gonna take uh, usually about a year. Second story this week, the White House released a document highlighting a regulatory freeze, which will likely affect both general aviation and drone regulation that was supposed to be upcoming. Now, in the document, the uh, new president said that uh, executive departments and agencies, and I quote, uh, cannot propose or issue any rule in any manner, including by sending a rule to the Office of the Federal Register until a department or agency head appointed or designated by the president reviews and approves the rules. Now, there are several issues here. Uh, more than likely, this means that the upcoming NPRM, uh, including Part 108 and then including uh, Mosaic, which is the uh, sport pilot rule change that we've been waiting for over a year now, uh, are going to be delayed until an appointed department or agency head uh, can review the proposed rule. And if you remember, of course, the uh, previous FAA administrator resigned a while back, but was effective a few days ago. So we'll likely have to wait until an upcoming uh, nominee goes through the whole process to become the new FAA admin. Now, this means that we may have to wait a few more months before the FAA can release the NPRM for a BV loss uh, that is required by the FAA Reauthorization Act. Now, we'll keep you updated on this. This is uh, kind of uh, a story that is changing. So uh, as soon as we hear more, we'll let you know. Next up, DJI leaker Acida LV has revealed that uh, DJI supposedly has six more products to be released this year, uh, which gives you something to look forward to, uh, including a new Mavic. Uh, as reported by DroneXL, the leaked product includes the Mavic 4 Pro, the Mini 5 Pro, the Matrice 400A, not sure what the A stands for, the DJI Dock 3, Action 6, and then the Osmo Nano. Uh, there are currently no rumored specs for any of this, including the Mavic 4, but we'll keep you updated. Obviously, we saw the Mavic 4 Enterprise, which is now called the Matrice 4, uh, released uh, recently, so uh, I'm sure it's going to look a whole lot like it or close to it, but uh, we'll let you know when we hear more. And then last up, uh, Connecticut has released a bill that would prohibit state agencies from purchasing Chinese drones. This bill includes items other than drone usage and the, the full bill text is not currently available. The current text says that neither the state nor any state agency, state contractor or municipality shall purchase or use any aerial drone manufactured in the uh, People's Republic of China or the Russian Federation. Now, if you're in Connecticut and this would affect you, be sure that you reach out to your state legislator. And then join us later today for happy hour in the community. We also have live Q&A on Monday and then post-flight on Monday as well in the premium community. So we'll see you then. We're going to leave it down in the, NT in, in, in the future. Uh, one more time. One more time. One more time. This week, blah, blah, blah. One more time. C cause the... One more time. Test. Text. Oh. Oh.